welcome back to yet another episode of One on One where we invite your favorite Nollywood actors to give us a scoop on their lives inside the industry. I have a special guest in the house with me today who I will be introducing to you after this short break, so don't go anywhere. My name is Ifoma Obi and you are watching One on One. We'll be right back. Welcome back to One on One. I have my lovely guest here with me today that I would love to introduce to you all. Her name is Shirley Ann Ede. Welcome to One on One. Thank you. You look Thank absolutely you. lovely. Your dress Thank is gorgeous. You. Thank you so, so much. So today I'm just going to be asking you a little bit about your career as both an actor and a filmmaker, right? Yes. Okay, so first of all, have you had any formal training as an actor? I do. I attended New York Film Academy. Wow. I studied producing and went back again to study filmmaking. Wow. Okay, so do you think that schooling outside of the country has given you some perspective on what the industry is supposed to look like? Yeah, in a great way mm. because I actually uh, wanted to what in an environment to meet with the new generation of filmmakers mm. um, from different countries all over the world and something different from what we have here. I know that that's the, my type of filmmaking, like do something different outside Nollywood and um, probably soon with Hollywood. Yeah, definitely. So tell me about what it's like balancing work, traveling and family. It can't be easy. <laughs> yeah. I have a way of balancing it. Mm. You know? Especially when there are little kids involved. Mm. I call it uh, filmmaking versus homemaking. Okay. I, in fact, most times I don't know how I do that, but I have a husband, mm. an awesome man, who at most times make um, my job seem less difficult mm. yeah because whenever i'm about to go on a shoot i plan uh do i have staff who takes care of the kids and okay all that's, that thing. That's so good. it's all about good planning i didn't realize how big of an issue budget can be from a producer standpoint or from a filmmaker standpoint how has budget been like a setback do you think in the nollywood industry or in your experience in my experience, um, whenever I have a story mm. and uh, draft my plan and my budget, I walk towards the budget if I don't have it. Mm. The funds, uh, how do I go about this? And uh, is it something I could do this time? Is it a cinema film? Is it uh, just for TV? Um, we producers, I example me, I plan and see, okay, this budget, whatever it is, if it's going to the cinema, what do I think I'm going to realize at the end of the And um, is it for TV, like for African magic? Okay, does it work for me? I know that. So, but one thing I don't do now is I don't really want to spend more on TV, mm. the high budget on TV because of the payment, procedure, everything delayed. So it could even get up to 10 months before you're being paid. 10 so, months? Yeah. Most wow. Times, yeah. Sometimes they don't get back to you when you send a copy of what this get back to me. I know that because we have a whole lot of people into filmmaking now. So I tend to know what I can do and get my money back because I don't go to bank. That's my That's your, yeah. yeah. Was there any reason why you left acting to pursue filmmaking? I started acting while I was in school, those days in Unilag. And um, I had to choose either I leave school and face my acting career or wow. first on acting and face your school, which, is, which was what I did. And I was shuttling between two schools at that time. I was studying Unilag and also during vacation when I have time to answer the producers, oh, come and take up this role. Mm -hmm. I'm in Paris. Wow. Yeah, I studied uh, European languages, French major. Wow. So Very educated. For three, years, <laughs> for three years, I was shuttling in a school in Paris, Besançon, and um, when I'm back, Unilag is in session. Mm -hmm. So. By the end of it, some of them see me, oh, she's not serious. She's not serious yeah. in acting and all that. But I'm like, I have to do this. 
and by the time I graduated, I relocated to New York. Mm. So had my little babies there, the mm. younger ones, and I'm like, okay, do something bigger. That was when I went into filmmaking, oh film school, sorry, to study filmmaking. Thank you so much for today. I learned a lot. Um, go ahead and tell us a little bit about what you're working on and also shout out your Instagram for your fans at home. There you have it guys. Thank you for watching another episode of One on One. Don't forget to keep up with us on our website at www.tribe.tv and follow us on all our social media handles at Tribes TV. That's Tribes with an S on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Be sure to keep up with me on my Instagram at Sky, and shout out to the lovely Roots restaurant for letting us use this beautiful venue. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ifoma Obi and you are watching One on One. See you next time.